Detangling is a two-step process. You untangle your hair to easily to shed your hair. The untangling process involves stretching out the coils. In order to do this, the hair needs to be pliable and lubricated. To make sure your hair can stretch easily, but not revert, you always want to keep the hair undersaturated with water. A light spray of water works best. Next, you want to use a highly penetrating oil, I prefer grapeseed oil, to lightly coat the strands. You don't want the oil dripping off the hair. This way your hair doesn't feel wet or greasy. Work both in equally. Now onto the stretching. Using this specific technique for bantu knotting, you get maximum stretch with minimal tension. Keeping your thumbs placed in the center of the section while holding the length taut forces the strands to elongate. Keeping your thumbs matched on either side of the section ensures you don't create any gaps in the stretch. You will maintain that technique down the length. You create a smooth twist as you go down. As you wrap for the bantu knot, don't allow the twist to loosen. Wrap around the base while continuing to twirl the length. Repeat the wrap, twirl, wrap until all the hair is in the knot, especially your ends. Make sure to loosen the base. Once all sections are bantu knotted, Cover with a plastic cap overnight. Time is what allows your hair to get the stretch it needs. It will not be straight, just elongated enough, so the coils don't trap the shed hairs. After the stretch, you will section off the bantu knot. Now it's time to remove the shed hairs. This is the type of stretch you'll get. The hair is elongated, but not straight. Now loosen the tangles, this helps the shed hairs slide out easily. Your thumb is going to do most of the work. Pull the section down to elongate the strands, then use the pad of your thumb to loosen the tangles at the ends first. This allows the shed hairs to slide out easily. Use your thumb to find any clumped hairs. Press your thumb against the clumps, and work them loose. This should be a smooth process, because, the added oil, allows the strands to glide past each other effortlessly. Gently pull on the ends to release the shed hairs. See how easy they slide out. Only a few strands came out, with no pulling or tugging. Next, move up to the roots, and repeat the same process. But pass your thumb through the full length. Move your thumb in different directions at the root, so you get all tangles from every angle. Once you have done a few passes, gently pull on the ends to release the shed hairs. Keep repeating this process until no hair comes out. Only a few strands of hair came out.
Now you have fully disheded hair, with no breakage. Then loosely twist the section, so your hair doesn't tangle. You just watched me detangle this section in real time. The whole process took, 4 minutes. I finished detangling my whole head in, 1 hour and 13 minutes. There was no breakage, no pulling, and the shedding was minimal. Finger detangling is a learned skill. You must, untangle your hair, to to shed. Once you get the technique right, taking care of your hair becomes so much easier, and much less stressful.